Hey everybody, welcome back to the Race 5 Smokehouse and Grill and today we are taking this bone-in turkey breast and making some amazing smoked turkey club sandwiches on the Weber kettle. Let's go! So I love smoked turkey in any way, shape, or form I can get it. And I had the idea, let's make some smoked turkey club sandwich, and we're gonna use the Weber kettle on this cook. But first, we gotta get this bone-in turkey breast trimmed up. I got this at the local grocery store. This is just a Genio bone-in turkey breast. I'm gonna show you how to trim it up real quick. That way we could get it onto the Weber kettle. You could absolutely cook this whole as it is, but you'd have to stuff this, try to make it cook more evenly. That's why we're gonna take these off the bone so they're gonna cook perfectly and evenly. First thing we have to do is we have all this skin on here. Now all we do for this is just peel it off. Get your thumbs under there, get your knife and just kind of trim it off where it ends. You can see there's a line and just kind of peel it and work it off. We're gonna clean up all this loose stuff too, but it's pretty simple. You, you literally just start pulling at it and it peels right off away from the muscle. Go ahead and just start trimming that up there. Then when you get to the end, just go ahead and start nipping it off. And trim this off here. We're not gonna really have any loose edges once we're done, but this is it skinless now and this is the front of the breastbone. So we're gonna end up scoring right along here and right along here and then cutting underneath the meat to get it off the bone and we'll show you how. Just kind of score along in there and then this kind of Y's up here like the letter Y so you just follow that bone and keep going around. You know, kind of peel off as you're doing it. A nice knife always help. We got this good knife here. It's like a razor. Again, just kind of peeling it off the bone here. There you have it. There's one side of the breast taken off. Very nice and clean. One extra thing I like to do here is you have this tendon that's underneath the, um, the loin here, the tenderloin there. I just hacked that off because that's gonna be tough and not be good to eat. Well, there's one breast. You can go ahead and keep picking the silver skin off as much as you want or whatever membrane. You don't really have to, but it doesn't hurt. I mean, it makes it look prettier in the end too. So trim to your heart's content, but you don't have to go too crazy because then you could spend all day, spend hours, and you're gonna lose more meat. But these are pretty lean, easy to trim. So now we just gotta do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna follow this bone down again, that, that center breastbone there. And again, this Y is off this way and just kind of follow it. It's gonna tell you where it wants to cut. So just go ahead and follow where it wants to cut. Then it starts peeling off and you get under there. You gotta make sure you get under that loin cause that's some good meat too. You can save this for turkey stock if you'd like. I've already got gallons of turkey stock in the freezer so we're just gonna get rid of this. Get that tendon out of there. Boom. Get that little bit of skin off there. If you have any stragglers that are gonna burn up or anything, go ahead and get rid of it. But there we have it. This is our now boneless, skinless turkey breast that we're gonna throw onto the Weber kettle. Next step is we're gonna season it. Let's go grab that seasoning. So it's time to get the season up. Today we're gonna be hitting it with Heath Ryle's garlic jalapeno rub and we're gonna follow it up with some pork mafia 16 mesh black pepper. This is gonna be the side that we cook facing up, so let's season the back side first. And we wanna get all over here. Flip this over and get inside here. You wanna get all that flavor all over. And now you could use whatever rubs you like this is great, it's gonna give some nice kick to it, a little saltiness. We're just gonna add that little bit of extra black pepper because I love black pepper. Do the upside here. Turkey breasts are seasoned up. Let's go over to the Weber, get that fired up, and we're gonna show you how we're gonna run it today. Mm. 
Let's go take a quick look at how we have this Weber set up. We're using a slow and sear today, but you could use any Weber charcoal basket that comes with it, or you could even line up your charcoal against the back here. We have the slow and sear, so that's what we're gonna use today. This is filled with Jealous Devil lump charcoal, and I did add a fire starter here on one side, so that way the fire starts up here and it's gonna slowly go this way across the grate. On top of the Jealous Devil, we've got this lined with chunks of cherry wood. That's gonna give a great smoky flavor to this turkey. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw the grate on, let this catch up, get it ashed over, and when it does, we're gonna throw that meat on the grill. It's been a few minutes, we have a really nice, gentle blue smoke rolling out of the top of this Weber. We got a nice temperature, we're at about 200 degrees, and it's gonna keep climbing a little bit as more and more charcoal combusts. We're gonna keep the lid vent about halfway through, and I am gonna pop a temp probe in there just to make sure the heat doesn't get out of control as it continues to burn on. So let's go get these turkey breasts on. I'm gonna start these off by putting them thicker side towards the heat. Let's close her up. Add that temp probe. And we're gonna come back in about an hour, hour and a half and see what we're looking like. We're roughly an hour in on the turkey breast on the Weber kettle. We've been running somewhere around 275 to 300. So after I close this back down, we're gonna close that vent down a little bit more. So let's go take a quick look at these right now. These are looking absolutely delicious. Great smoke color already. Let's take a temp here, see where we're at. These are cooking rather quickly. We're in the 120s, 130s on these turkey breasts, so we're gonna pull them off, wrap them in some butter and get them back on here. Let's go do that. Turkey breasts are pulled off the grill, looking great, great color. Let's wrap these in some butter and foil. Now I have two sheets of foil, so each one of these is gonna get two sheets of foil, just in case something punctures or something goes through. We're trying to keep as much moisture inside this wrap as possible. And we're gonna hit it with some parquet squeeze butter. That's gonna add some flavor and moisture in there as well. We're gonna take the top side, put that in there, make sure that top side's down. Hit it with a little squeeze butter on the back side there. Nice and tight. And we're gonna do number two here. We want to make sure we retain all these juices because we're going to pour those over at the end. These are wrapped up. Let's go get them back on the grill. So it is a very warm day outside. I'm going to take this tempura body here now. That's going to go into these go back on the grill. And I'm going to take that tempura we were using. And I'm just going to stick it right in the middle here and monitor the internal temp of this bird. Close her back down and we're gonna let these run till about 160 degrees, 165, somewhere in that range. Then we pull them off and let them rest. We pulled these turkey breasts off. They got up to about 165, 167, a little bit higher than I'd like. I like to normally pull them off around 162, 163. And as they rest, the residual cooking will bring it up to that 165 mark. But as long as we let them rest, they're gonna be good. So we're gonna let these come down in temp before we slice them up and build this sandwich. We've had our turkey resting. It's down to about 130 internal, so it's time for me to slice into this. But while this was resting, we fired up the Blackstone, threw some nice thick cut bacon on there, cooked that perfectly until it was nice and crispy. I love my bacon well done and almost shattering when you bite into it. Cook your bacon how you like it. This is how I like it. I like to get that good snap and crunch out of the bacon. After the bacon we pulled off and we toasted some bread, I buttered one side for the top and bottom of this sandwich because a club sandwich has multiple pieces of bread. So, okay, we got our bread, we've got our bacon. Now it's time to slice into this turkey. Let's open it up, take a look at it. So we've got this perfectly cooked turkey breast, lots of juices from the butter and from the meat in there. So we wanna keep this. We're gonna hit this with a little drizzle at the end. Now we're gonna slice it. Now the grain typically runs this way on a turkey. So you wanna cut across the grain. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna give it slices here. Gotta give it a try first. Mm. 
that's perfect. You get a peppery bite right off the bat. You get a little saltiness from that Heath Rails garlic jalapeno rub. There's a little kick, not sure if that's from the jalapeno rub or from the pepper itself, but it's delicious juicy and tender this is going to be great so i'm trying to cut these a little thinner than i normally would because we're going to stack this onto the sandwich and i don't necessarily want huge thick pieces if we want more meat we could just add smaller slices So that's about the thickness I'm going for. You can see it's pretty nice and thin. So I think that's enough. We'll just kick this off to the side here. But we're saving these juices, and what you do is you just give it a little drizzle over the top. That adds some more of that moisture back, more of that flavor back. Okay, we have all of our ingredients prepped right now, so it's time to build this sandwich. First thing you get, bottom piece of bread. Now when you're building this, you have to keep in mind that there's different textures going on and some are slippery and some aren't. So you kind of want to stack those against each other. That way, if you put all the veggies and mayo all together, you take a bite, it's going to shoot out the side. Do a quick mayo on the bottom piece here. Then we're going to take some of this romaine lettuce we sliced up here on the bottom. Put that on the bottom here. Now we're going to stack our turkey. We really want this to be the predominant player in here, so we are going to hit it pretty liberally with the turkey here. God, this is so good. Next, we're going to take the piece of bread that we buttered on both sides, and we're going to give a quick mayo on both sides of that as well. Then we are going to throw some of this awesome thick cut bacon down on here. The good thing about these club sandwiches too is you could pretty much do whatever you want and make it your way completely. Throw some tomatoes, again, as many tomatoes as you like. And then finally, we're gonna mail the top piece here. And we are done. We got this beast all put together. Now it's time to slice into it. And you gotta have the skewer in order to keep these guys together. Now it's time to slice into this. There you have it, look at that. Oh man, that's gonna be delicious. Time to get into it. As expected, the star of the show is that smoked turkey. Such great smoke flavor coming off of that Weber kettle. You get that pop of pepper, you get a little spice, a little saltiness, but then it's offset by the creaminess of the mayo. This really nice Martin's bread. Ah, oh, the tomatoes and everything's fresh. This is a great sandwich. That thick cut bacon is perfect as well. Nice and crispy, offsets the texture of the soft turkey and the veggies really adds a good bite and a good chew to it. If you like what we did here, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Check me out on social media. And again, thanks for checking out the video. Take care everybody, talk to you soon, peace.